Hey everyone, I am Silvermon or Alex, and it's week two of our countdown to Dark Souls 2. That means about eight weeks to go. And what have I got for you today? Well, week one was a lore video on Xanthus King Jeremiah. And next week I've got something pretty special that I've been working on for a while. Actually, you know what? I've been working on most of this countdown for a few months now. That said, what about this week? I've got something a bit different from usual. Starting from next week, January 19th, and every Sunday up to the release of Dark Souls 2, I'll be trying to play some Dark Souls with you guys. So here's the basic idea. Every Sunday I'll be hosting a Fight Club style event on the secret rooftop of Sen's Fortress. Don't know what that is or how to get there? Well, I'll show you in this video. Now, there'll be a few modest rules for this event. First up, this is on Xbox 360 only, I'm afraid. I do own the PC version of Dark Souls as well, but unfortunately I can never get the online to work properly on it, and I don't own a PS3. That said, if you want to go and host your own events on those days, give it a try for sure. Feel free to organise those sorts of things in the comments, and uh, remember to leave your, you know, your PlayStation Network IDs, or your gamertag, or your Steam name, etc. Second of all, come into this at level 70. You could technically be in the level range from around 60 to 80, but don't try and sneak in another 10 levels just because you can. Now, you've got a bit over a week until the first event, so that should be plenty of time to make a character and to get them to the right level. What about your actual character? Is there a theme to these events? Well, perhaps. The idea is that you should bring a themed character to some extent, whether or not it's a cosplay of a Dark Souls character, cosplay of some other character, or just your own Dark Souls creation, it's all good. But, that said, there are a few rules. I'll put all these in the description so it's easier to check it. First up, no min-maxing. And that's what these rules are mostly in place for. That means no scythe-wielding fast roller with 80 poise and pyromancy. To that effect, the hornet ring and the wolf ring are banned completely from this. Which means you can't use either of them. Green Blossom is only allowed if you have less than 20 poise. Next up, your poise and equip burden are going to be pretty important here. If you have 20 or more poise, then you have to be mid-rolling. If you have 40 or more poise, then you have to be fat-rolling. So take that into consideration when making your character. Next up, Dark Bead is banned, as is Avacyn. Unless you're using Avacyn as your primary weapon. Now, the reason these two are banned is that they can be too powerful as surprise weapons for instant kills. And considering this is going to be at level 70, some people might not have all that much health, and to be honest, I don't think many people find it fun to suddenly get shot by an Avacyn out of nowhere and die. Thanks to lag, it can be a bit too hard to react to stuff like that. Anyway, finally, Sunlight Blade and Dark Moon Blade are also banned. Now, the Sway Hander isn't banned, but try not to be a dead angling stunlocker with it, because, you know, that's no fun. It also goes without saying, no Divine Blessings, no Elizabeth's Mushrooms, no Humanity, and no Estus. Unless your opponent uses an Estus. Healing Miracles are fine, and of course, don't even think about hacking or using a modded save. As for Honourable Jewels and Jewel Etiquette and all that, considering that this is a fight club and not random invasions, you should try and follow it to a certain extent. You know, bow if you want, don't backstab fish and so on. Oh, and don't use healing items and jewels, humanity, divine blessings, and so forth. But if somebody else has already used their Estus or a humanity, then, you know, feel free to use one yourself. And of course, you can use them after you've won a jewel, because uh, if you've lost, then you're probably dead anyway. Quite a few rules, I know, but that's because I don't want people showing up as min-maxers and, you know, backstab fishing and just trying to win a jewel in, like, one shot. Now, I appreciate that some people might want to be sort of role-playing a glass cannon character who either, like, kills the enemy in one shot or gets killed themselves in one shot. But because of things like that, some things might change on a situational basis and I might adjust the rules based on feedback. Or if anyone finds a clever way to get around these rules by using some crazy item combo that I've not thought of, well, let's just say I'm keeping these rules flexible. So keep an eye on the description of this video down below, and for the most up-to-date rules, they'll be there. And I hope to see you guys in Sen's Fortress. By the way, if you get summoned or invaded whilst there, make sure you do the point up gesture, as a sort of secret handshake style thing. That's point up. 
not look skywards. Anyway, I'll see you all soon.